My name is Kristen Kreider and um, I'm a lecturer at Royal Holloway University of London and I teach poetry there. Um, and I'm currently at the Centre for Creative Collaboration uh, in Acton Street, which is King's Cross, Central London. Um, I'm here tonight as part of um, one of the organisers of an event called Polyply. Um, and this is organized by myself and other members of Royal Holloway, um, including Will Montgomery, um, also teaching poetry and as a sound artist, uh, Del Olson, who is another poet and artist, and uh, Professor Robert Hampson, um, again, poet and scholar. Uh, so we're here tonight to host Polyply, the event that we host on a monthly basis at uh, C4CC. And what we, uh, what we really like about the space and about using the space for our event is that uh, we're hosting um, performances uh, of cross-genre writing um, across a range of media, uh, and we use the space, uh, which is light and airy and open um, and collaborative, to generate different kinds of works and also to showcase works that have already been produced. So, so everybody is busy setting up. We've got uh, four performances tonight. Um, Polyply as an event is themed, um, so every event, um, which we're ho again hosting monthly, is themed around, for example, fear. Um, we had one that was specifically dedicated to a poet, so one on Frank O'Hara, actually one on Emily Dickinson, two themed on poets. Uh, we've had uh, one around the urban environment. Um, tonight is themed on score. Uh, so we've invited a number of, again, artists, poets, performers uh, to present a piece based around their interpretation of, of, of a score or um, their work based on a, an act of scoring. In the meantime, while they're setting up, we've also got activity going around um, in the balcony spaces above. And again, this is one of the things about C4CC that's so exciting is that uh, while we're doing bits of work, there's actually other people um, constantly doing pieces of work, again, from other parts of London, other institutions, and there's often kind of cross dialogue. We get people coming to Polyply, or we might walk by their desk and ask them what they're up to. Um, so it really is a kind of hive of activity. Um, so again, in the uh, corner over here, um, We've got uh, two dancers, uh, or choreographers, excuse me, Libby Worth and Julie Brixie Williams. And they're going to be presenting a piece called The Second Line of Long and Short Facing. Um, and so they will be our first performance tonight. I should clarify that our two dancers are actually showing a, a work in progress. So they're using this space and this time to show us work that they're generating at the moment. And they've even brought in bits of um, bits of process, bits of their collaborative process. So that's kind of in keeping with the CCC ethos. Um, we've got in the front space uh, a woman, Elizabeth Guthrie. Um, she's an artist, London-based artist. She's also a PhD candidate at, at Royal Holloway. And she's going to be doing a piece called Portraits, um, a multimedia translation of a text piece called Portraits. Dreams were a reality other than, or separate from the self. But it was pointed out, first, playing with properties of the language, this translation, glancing off to the left to see illuminated, even though day is overcast, tree. Um, also in the main room, we've got uh, Will Montgomery, one of the organizers of Polyply, working with the poet Steve Willey. Uh, and they're doing a piece, it's the score from Alvin Lussier, uh, called Duke of York. Um, and they're going to be performing that score. Um, the artist uh, Bridget McClear is going to be doing Vexations, which is based on Eric Satie's score. And actually, she's going to be showing documentation of that work that has previously been shown um, in another gallery space. Eric Satie's enigmatic 1893 musical composition of the same title as the site and catalyst for a work in which the artist tries to relearn how to play piano. In the end, 840 images are produced, becoming a vast new score visualizing and spatializing Satie's suggestion, written on the original manuscript, that the short composition be played 840 times. In our final piece, uh, tonight we've got Manfred Werder, who's um, a composer, performer, pianist from Zurich. Um, so we're really happy to have him all the way over here. He's going to be doing one of his, um, one of his scores, uh, again, in the piano room. Uh, we, 
ending with a U, the only two characters in the shape. So that's it for our show tonight. We're really, really excited to be here. We're really excited to use the space. Um, we've been using the space for, again, these months, and we're also going to be using it in upcoming events, uh, hosting workshops, um, having um, our seminars. I think we've got a Beyond Tech seminar that's, that's going to be hosted here. So um, we're really, really happy to be here and uh, looking forward to um, future collaborations at C4CC.